Oh my gosh. It is so hot. Southern California is experiencing a little bit of a heat wave. And I know what you're saying, people from other places. At least it's a dry heat. Oh, it's 15 degrees hotter where I live. Listen, I've been in heat waves in Death Valley. I've been in heat waves in Florida. I know heat. Okay. And this is hot. It's so hot, in fact. You could cook an egg on the sidewalk. Unfortunately, my eggs broke on the drive over here, but still. Uh, 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 oh, 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 look at it. Oh, bro. How you like that? Would you eat it? It's not scrambled. Oh, all done by the sun. Now you may be wondering why George and I have met up out here in this parking lot. Well, there's a very good reason. I had to show my friend George my new car. This is amazing. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's my new. 1989 remote control Batmobile. Dude, look at this thing. It's my sick new car, dude. Dude, I saw this on walmart.com on clearance for like 20 bucks. I have no idea what else I was looking for. I definitely didn't order it because this thing was available. Look at this thing. Look at it zipping along out there. Dude, when you're in the middle of a global pandemic, and you're spending a lot of time at home, things can get boring real quick. But I am a huge fan of the 1989 Batman movie. It is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. My secret obsession. And dude, I just had to, and it was worth the money. Dude, 20 bucks. This thing uses a USB cord to charge. I think there's actually batteries in the remote control that George is holding over there. I have always wanted a remote control 89 Batmobile ever since I was a kid. I secretly have quite a 1989 Batman collection. It's one of the few things I collect at home. And I had to pull this out to show you guys the original 1989 version of the RC car. Look at that, it was $9.99 back in the day created by Toy Biz. My parents would not get this for me because I had the larger one that the action figures go into and they'd be like, you don't need that, plus it's cheap. Dude, I was always so resentful. You don't know what I need. I needed that RC car. Well, <laughs> I've actually finally acquired it now. In working condition, mind you, and look at this. It actually slides right out. Whoever owned this before me was sneaky and cut the uh, plastic so you could pull out the Batmobile, not only is it small, it's about the size of my hand, which is about, I don't know, eight and a half, nine inches long, something like that. Look at this little tiny remote. It's so small. Well, anyway, I got to admit, my dad was right. Because look at this. Not only is it rinky-dinky, not only is it one of those classic 1980s RC cars that can only turn when it's backing up in reverse, but like many disappointing Christmas presents from my childhood in vehicle form, the remote control is connected by wire, which means you have to follow behind the remote control car the entire time you use it. Look at this. This little key on here actually turns. It doesn't actually do anything. It's on no matter what you do. As long as there's batteries in the back, two double A's, it'll still work. And of course, there's no batteries in the car because this wire are, is, 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 this is the, with the power, you know what I mean. I tested this in the living room in front of the cats, much to their terror. And unfortunately, the reverse on this thing no longer works, but I am happy to announce that this baby can still drive forward. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! Yeah! All right, Batman! Da, 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 da. This is so fun! Can't turn it, it just turns on its own, but yeah! Yeah! Look how fun, look how awesome. Aww. As you can see, the modern RC car here, even just the $20 version, is much, much better than the glossy little guy from 89. My dad called it, man. He always used to call it. He's like, you don't want this thing. It'll break after just a couple of uses. It's got a wire on it. You'll barely ever use it. And he's right, look at this. The wheel, the little wheel here, 
that causes it to turn when it reverses, theoretically, even though it doesn't work anymore, just popped out. It just popped inside of itself and broke. One use. Well, that's okay. I've got a real Batmobile now. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. Where does he get these wonderful toys? No! Ah, bat on bat crime, dude. There's a lot of argument whether the 66 Batmobile or the 89 Batmobile is better. I don't know about functionality, and I think I'd like that open top if I was actually gonna drive one around, you know, embarrass your kid by picking him up at school, but for pure design, I don't think you can beat this thing. I got so excited about this, I immediately went online and I saw like, Jada Toys, DeLorean, 66 Batmobile, and I was like, oh sick, we could have some races, dude. We could get out here all fast and furious. But when the box showed up, they were die-cast cars, not RC cars. I guess they also make a line of die-cast cars, so. <sighs> Bat fail, but at least we got to test the 89 Batmobile Toy Biz version versus the modern version. It's still a neat piece to have, like as a collector's item. It's kind of glossy, looks pretty cool. I love the look of that little remote control there. But it's got all those 80s drawbacks, the stinking cord. It only turns in reverse. Of course, the reverse on this one, like I said, is broken, but still, that is pretty worth having if you're into Batman. I can't believe it actually still works at all. Well, we can't have a real Batmobile race or even a Batmobile versus DeLorean race, both cars 89, if, you, if it's the part two version, you know, Back to the Future part two. But we could take this 89 Batmobile off some sweet jumps. Somewhere in this mess, I just happen to have a bat board. All right, George is trying to fix up the bat ram, pulling out my GoPro dash cam so we can get some sick action shots. Oh yeah, there you go. Professional filmmaking, guys. All right, let's get the car. All right, here we go. You ready? Da, na, 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 da, da. Oh! One more time. Let's go, Georgie, let's go. Oh. Oh. Why are you gonna miss? Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh. It's a little hard. You wanna try? I'll try. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Kinda, kinda! Yeah, yeah! Oh, no! Come on, Batsy. Don't let me down. Do it for Vicky Vale. Whoa! It's gone. It's gone. Do it for Vicky Vale. Whoa! Woo! I was gonna high five you, then I remembered the virus. All right, that worked okay, but our ramp isn't very good. It's kind of a small target, so let's jump it off some sweet curbs. Ooh, we got all the way over to the theater, which. As you know, all theaters are still closed, but unfortunately, we couldn't use their curb for whew, sweet jumps because the security guard over here, who was wa who was watching us this entire time, told us like, hey guys, it was cool in the parking lot, you know, because you had the excuse you might go to one of the restaurants over here, but you know, there's cameras on the building. It'll look like I'm not doing my job if I let you guys like play around on the curb over here. So we are going to look for another spot. I really want to know for future reference how hard it is to rent out a theater and then like rent a movie, do a screening. Like would you guys come if we screened Batman 89 somewhere? That'd be sick. I told George right now, we're living the dream, buddy. We're two grown men with families and bills to pay and we're hanging out in the parking lot playing with RC cars. This pandemic is definitely no fun, but it has led to a lot of <laughs> strange like I gotta find something to do situations. All right, here's our brand new zillion dollar Anaheim train station that not too many people use. I was hoping it would be open, but I think you still have to pay, darn it. Oh, that's okay, I have one more idea. <laughs> Cross the street from the Anaheim Stadium, there's a church over here. The church won't kick us out of the parking lot, right? Maybe, possibly? Oh, look at this sweet curb. I think we found it, buddy. All right, here we go. Into the air! Come on, Batman! Oh. Alright, Batman is awesome, but old Batsy is nothing without his enemies, so I've brought a few along for him to bamboozle. I should have said bat boozle. Alright, here we go. Whoa, the Joker! Lawrence, the Joker's pull box goon! Bob, you're my number one guy! And last but not least, the Riddler! Whoa! That's gotta hurt! 
we were trying to figure out if we could drive it off the parking garage for the grand finale, but then we realized there's a wall up there. So you couldn't just drive it off. You'd have to throw it off. But I gotta say, dude, this thing looks pretty durable. All that crashing and wrecking and bouncing has only put a few scratches on there. Actually, underneath you can see, the only bad thing is this keeps popping open when we do jumps. It has a USB charging cord in there, which is pretty handy because you could charge it up in the car. You know, in between sweet jumps, George. All in all, pretty good condition. I actually picked up another one. It was the last one for 20 bucks. Now I notice the price has gone up to like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. But this was totally worth the money. Like, it's fun. I've been playing with this for like two days. I let London play around with it. George play around with it. We've been bashing it into stuff. And it's totally fine. Even without its armored cocoon. Like in the, That was always the weakest part of that movie. 89 Batman, the cocoon. Alright, so how do, we, how do we finish, man? How do we get a finale? I think we should just drive it off the top of the car here. Now, I grant you the roof of George's car doesn't look very tall to us. But to tiny Batman in that tiny Batmobile, that's a heck of a drop. Let's see if it can survive this bashing, George. This batting. Huh? Uh. Get it? Alright, here we go. Keep in mind the scale of this for old Batsy here. We're gonna place him back on top of George's car. Big budget special effects. You ready, George? Yeah. And three, two, one. Oh no! Is it still going? I don't know. Uh-oh. The Batmobile is stuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's stuck on the door! It's gone! The Batmobile hasn't lost a wheel! The Joker won't get away! Ah! It did kind of bend the back little wing there. <laughs> and I like feel that. That's a pretty thick, sturdy plastic. Oh, like man. that ain't bending back. Oh wow, yeah. But otherwise, like I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty impressed. We did it. We tested the Jada toys. I think it's called Hollywood Rides or something. RC 1989 Batmobile. What do you collect? Hockey oh, stuff, oh, records. Oh, oh, yeah. You ever have any you have any toy collections? You have any uh, I have some hook oh, toys, yeah. hook action figures. Yeah. Maybe, do you know what, next time, I'm gonna show you guys my 1989 Batman collection. I had a huge one, I had to shrink it over the years, sell stuff off, and then over the years I've been trying to get it back. Not quite there, but I think it's pretty good. You wanna see it? Yeah. I'll show you, yeah. I'll show you on the camera. Cool. Really but for now, even though this is maybe the most ridiculous day we've spent in a while, I think we've done our duty. Stay tuned after the credits and I'll show you some of the paintings I've been working on, inspired by 1989 Batman lately. But uh, after that, just stay tuned. Same bad time, same bad channel. And go home and sleep well. <laughs>
Tracy Walter, man, Bob the Goon. This is my first uh, first draft kind of thing. It's a mix of spray paint, stencil, brush painting. The face didn't come out too good here, so I'm working on a, a newer version right now at the moment. But yeah, it's hard to see the purple and all the colors, and of course it's all black and dark colors there. I can't just leave it at Batman and Bob, so of course the Joker will make an appearance. Actually, when he was here earlier to stop by and pose for me, you know, Nicholson is the Joker, he wanted to collaborate and made his own version of the Batman painting. I have no idea what I'll do with all of these when they're all finished because, you know, there's these, there's the Joker, there's a couple different versions of each one, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll put them on eBay or something like that because I don't have a lot of space to keep stuff, but this sort of was getting the creative juices flowing on other stuff. Sometimes you gotta switch projects if you really want to, uh, you know, keep your creative juices flowing on one thing like filming or whether you're writing or sewing or painting, whatever your project is, if you switch to a different project for a little while, it can sometimes get the juices going. So there you go, there's my prototype Bob the Goon. There's my Joker's rendition of the Batman. You got the early version here. And then the final version, yeah. 1989, Michael Keaton, Batman. It's a little bit more layered than you can really and you can really tell, but uh, it's pretty cool. It looks different in in different light, and I don't know. Pretty happy with that. It was a nice little switcheroo, you know, nice little switch up. Actually, I still have paint all over my hands. Anyway, next time when we come back, I will show you my 1989 Batman collection. This right here is a bootleg. This isn't even a real U.S. action figure. You can see the little hole to go on the shelf there. Well, anyway, we'll talk about it more. A bootleg figure, a couple more. Thing, special things. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe if you'd like. Same bad time, same bad channel. You've done your duty. Follow the links in the description. Go home and sleep well. Dude, well, shoot. Let's see if it can survive. Ah! Why? Dude, the car's telling me something. Yeah, yeah, look how fun it's so fun. Oh, is it not on? Whoops. Take two. Take two. Well, this is the most fun. I think I've ever had in a heat wave outside <laughs> playing with toys. George, hockey's back already. Change your mask. <laughs> I think Batman still has to wear his mask. In the pandemic, if he's wearing the other mask, he could just take the other part of the mask off. I think he already developed his own vaccine. I think he's already. Right. That's true. He's probably working on it right now. He's getting Vicky Vale to the back cave, Vicky taking the film. Giving her the, take this to the police. Why don't you take it yourself? They don't trust me, and you're blonde. That, that was the gist of it. Free watcher. Right on.